Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Amber. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how I made this little summer robe kind of thing. Um, I used a very sheer fabric here and I used a princess seam pattern. Um, I was just kind of uh, following the pattern for the top and then I just kind of cut strips of fabric for the uh, skirt. Um, I wanted to have large poofy sleeves so there we had them and I just wanted to film this and see if I like filming making a project like this and uh, let me know if you guys like it. I, <laughs> I didn't like all of the filming that I chose but you know, you can't be perfect on the first round, so I figured I'll just go with it. So I'm serging it, and you can see I'm using a white serging thread. My intention was for none of the seams to be visible. Um, that didn't quite turn out as I hoped, but um, <laughs> learning is good. Learning is very good. So I just made sure that I added serging along all the edges because this fabric sheds very easily and it, it, it's a very lightweight fabric so it could tear easily and so this kind of works as a stay stitch as well. Um, I did use my serger to add the gathers for the waist. I didn't like it. I ended up doing my own gathers um, you know, on my sewing machine like I normally do. Um, I definitely had some hiccups with this, but, you know, it's been a while since I've sewn a lot, so I figure, you know, gotta be nice to myself about it. So I'm just adding some elastic to the bottom of the sleeves here, and, um, I just kind of made a seam and threaded it through, and it was like the easiest thing ever. Um, here I, yeah, so princess seams are a little bit harder to get the seams flat if you have a big bust like me. <laughs> so it's very important to pin those in place if you want it to look very neat. A lot of times I don't actually pin my things in place. It kind of depends on the situation. Um, you know. Oh, so that one I just went through really fast because it was very, very cloudy and I did not like it at all. Uh, but I did film the entire process. I just did a hyperlapse so it would be super fast. And uh, this actually took me, I think, three days and um, a lot of breaks, a whole lot of breaks because, uh, well, I ran into stuff. I ran into problems, I ran into stuff I didn't think I was going to have to worry about. But I do have a new sewing machine, so I'm kind of getting used to that as well. And I'm getting used to the pattern, and I have a lot of fabric that's waiting for wonderful, wonderful garments to be made out of them. And I am just kind of practicing on my less favorite fabric first, so that I can hopefully take as much skill going forward into the next projects uh, so that I really love the outcome. So I added a seam along the belt so that I can thread a tie through that. And so that's just what I'm working on right now. And then of course um, I did a double seam so that my serging wasn't visible on most of my seams. And then I ran into a problem with the bottom ruffle and I ran into some problems trying to do a buttonhole. <laughs> so, you know, new sewing machines are really fun, but sometimes it can be a bit tricky getting accustomed to how they work as opposed to how the other machine used to work. They're both singers, so I thought they would be very similar. Uh, but this is the computerized version. Um, it is called the Singer Stylus. And, you know, it just takes some getting used to. 
and then I'm right now I'm pressing the tie that I'm going to sew and I'm going to double it over so it's going to actually have um, four layers of fabric because I wanted it to feel heavier. Like I said, this fabric is very lightweight, so bear that in mind. Um, I did run into some problems with my ruffle being caught in the serger when I was doing the seam, and so I actually had to patch up a piece in the back. But I think I did it well enough, it's not really visible, uh, but it's just very disheartening to run into a lot of problems. And here I had an extra seam within the pocket seam that I was trying to thread past when I was putting the tie through and it took me for frickin ever. Um, I did finally get it. My fingers were kind of sore by the end, but this is the finished product. It turned out okay. <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing the circle neck again in the future when I use this pattern or when I create kind of this summer robe because I do have a lot of very nice lightweight fabrics and I kind of like this because it just adds a little bit of extra fun and layers to your outfit. Um, but I don't like the circle neckline so much because it doesn't lay flat. So next time I'll just do a v-neck but that's why I wanted to create this and I like how it turned out overall and thank you so much for watching.